Hey everyone, this is Scabcat242. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about the uh, recent wave of the G.I. Joe 50th anniversary figures which are available at Toys R Us. So I pretty much have gotten uh, quite a bit of figures which came out from last year and this year. And there are some things I gotta say about it. Now while these are figures which are supposed to be from the 50th anniversary of the G.I. Joe brand name, well specifically for the 3 inch scale figures. Most of the figures I realized nothing was really new. It was mostly repaints and just re-releases. Now I'm grateful for the re-releases because um, most of the figures that came out in this line were from Pursuit of Cobra so because of that I was able to get some more Iron Grenadiers, uh, Steel Brigade, more uh, Cobra Troopers, and the one I was the most grateful for was the re-release of Low Light because he was super hard to find and expensive. So, yeah, that was cool they did that, but there was mostly just repaints too. Um, the Shadow Guard was basically just a repaint of the Crimson Guard from the Retaliation line. Uh, the Cobra Viper Officer is just a repaint of a regular Viper, and then the Night Viper is just a repaint from the Retaliation. Night Viper and yeah there was very few new things that was released in the sign and the, the few new figures that we got which for the concept case I mean, of course we got our flint leatherneck uh, the new Destro and uh, Lady J but some of them I didn't care for um, one of them was gung ho and because of that I actually had a kit I kit bashed my gung ho I just took another body and just swiped out the hands and heads and I, I liked this a lot more. And yet for some reason there are 25th anniversary figures popping out in this wave like Alpine. I honestly did not like this version of Alpine. I'm actually going to do some kit bashing on him but um, the one that I skipped on uh, I passed on the the Heat Viper and Blowtorch because seriously I'm so sick and tired of Blowtorch. I passed on that. Um, I did pick up the blowjob and the Arctic Bat, but I, I mostly got that just for parts. Uh, I didn't really buy much of the vehicle sets. Um, the figures from the recent line, like the two packs, um, I skipped on the Spirit and Storm Shadow. The Spirit figure's okay. I wasn't crazy about the Storm Shadow. Um, the Croc Master and, what was it, Croc Master and another blowtorch? Yeah, I skipped on that one. Uh, the Cobra Commander and Shipwreck, I got the Shipwreck separate, that was a cool figure, but that Cobra Commander with the red gloves, I just thought was stupid. Uh, the three packs, uh, the only one I got, which was the one with the, uh, what was it, the Rock Viper, the Shock Trooper, and Alpine, that one was okay. But I passed on the other ones, uh, what was the three packs, I think it was, what, Zartan, uh, Hit and Run, and I think Wetsuit, I don't know, I was not all that impressed with those figures, but I think like the worst one. Uh, was the three pack with Dusty, Bazooka, and I think what Firefly? Just, I don't know. They, to me, they just had really bad paint schemes, but I don't know. Uh, I was not really that excited about the rest of the, the 50th anniversary figures that came out later this year. Um, the ones from last year um, I got actually was kind of funny. Since Toys R Us has been the only store that's been selling these. Uh, they kind of not really put much effort into selling them. They have not put them. They have not put that many figures on the pegs. And actually, within a few months, they've actually gone uh, on um, a clearance. Uh, like the two packs originally, I think, or those were like what fourteen ninety nine. I think over time they went like ten dollars. But um, I don't know. It's just GI Joe is just not what it was as I remember it. I mean, it's now it's just kind of struggling. Which is kind of weird because I remember, was it what, back in 2009-2010, you used to be able to go to Target, Walmart, any stores that sold action figures and there would be a Joe aisle. And now, Toys R Us is the only store that has them. So, I don't know, I'm kind of almost getting close to just being done collecting G.I. Joes depending what Hasbro does with the line. I mean, I will still continue to collect figure, older figures that I'm looking for, but I don't know, I'm kind of just going into customizing now but I don't know it's kind of a shame like what Hasbro's doing with this line now I mean really didn't get anything new it's supposed to just been repaints but I don't know I, I'm kind of running out of words to say right now but I don't want to 
drag this out too long, but uh, I, I just want to hear what people have to say about that. I mean, do you think the 50th anniversary was good? Do you think something's coming better? Do you think we could have gotten some new stuff as opposed to just um, repaints and re-releases? Um, I want to see some comments below. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching.